It's the second game at home. We we lost the first one, so of course for we must win this one. Uh, we had a new before we started the, the season that we have a tough season playing with two big teams away. So our points at home we made once a mistake, but now we cannot allow, allow to to repeat it. Do you expect it to be a similar challenge to the one you faced at home to Bournemouth? Yes, I think that in every game of the Premier League you must expect exactly the same. All of the team has good players, all of them play well, so if you don't play with 100% of intensity, with high pace, with concentration and with good players, you will be difficult to win. West Ham fans asking me on the social media, is Marco Arnautovic OK? What is the latest with his injury? Yes, Marco has a small problem behind his knee in the last game. He was not comfortable to play those last minutes, but he made all the examination with the doctor and he works with the whole week. So is he out for Saturday? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, he's out. Okay. He's, he, he doesn't have any. He doesn't, he doesn't have any problem from the from Tuesday. He start working. Without, okay. without problem. So you have no time scale yet of how long he is out? He's, he's, oh. trained, he's trained this week. He's trained this week. Excellent. Um, Jose Mourinho this week was, uh, was unhappy. Uh -huh. He said that he had a, treated with a lack of respect by um, some sections of the media. Do you always feel in England you've been treated with respect? No, I don't want to link my answer about <laughs> what Mourinho says. I think that the media can do the question that they want and, and me as a manager I, I answer also what I want I don't want to to answer one question because I think it's a lack of respect well, I don't answer already but I think that everyone can be able to ask what they think that they need to ask and he talks about winning Premier Leagues too but you have won the Premier League yourself so did you find that strange when he said that or? no really I didn't know what Mourinho said so yeah. <laughs> on Yaya Torre, um, his agent, talking about disrespect, his agent came out and said <coughs> he's not signing for West Ham, he'd never join a bottom of the table side. What, what did you make of those comments? Because obviously you know Yaya very well. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the words of the agent of uh, Yaya, because I spoke with Yaya, I know how I appreciate uh, him as a person and as a player. I think that he's a very good player. Uh, and, but in the moment that uh, we were doing our squad list, that position was covered for another players. We need money to bring in another position. So we explained to Yaya clearly why he cannot uh, come here. But I hope that he will find a, a good and a big club because he's a very good player and I appreciate it a lot. Was he interested in working with you again then, Manuel? I was talking with uh, players, I spoke with Yaya, he wanted also to stay in England when I was in Manchester City. He received also another offer from uh, away, from China, from other country, but he always told me that he wants to stay here in England and he continued trying to be here. So I suppose that Wehan was a good option for me as a manager also, but unfortunately, as I said, that position was covered for another player. The transfer <coughs> Europe tomorrow and loans. Do you expect any players to leave West Ham tomorrow or any to go out on loan? No, no. Really, I said last week that the squad is ready. Uh, today, we just couldn't wait, uh, wait for a, wait, uh, go for a loan to another team because he needs to play more again, but he's a young player, but the, the squad is complete. I know you mentioned Declan Rice earlier this week, but since uh, one or two ex-Island players have criticised him for considering England, given his age, do you think it's unfair that he has received criticism from some? Maybe, maybe it's unfair. I think that is not uh, an easy decision for him. He's a very young player also. I, I understand that he can feel uh, love for both countries because uh, all the, our grandparents or their fathers are, are linked with both with both uh, with, with both countries. So he must decide what he thinks that is better for himself or what, as I said, what his heart tells him what to do. 
I know it's not the start you wanted, but how big was the win uh, against Wimbledon on Tuesday? And have you seen a positive effect in training since then? It was very positive because uh, you need to win a team of the League One. There's two, two championship of difference between uh, one league, it's not uh, between one team and the other one. Uh, it's not easy to do it because I can give you a lot of examples where the team of League One had beaten the teams of the, of the Premier League, especially if you start losing 1 0. But for me, that was the most useful thing of that game because we continue instead that we couldn't score till minute 65, I think it's minute 66 of the second half. We continue believing in moving the ball and trying to create a space, and finally, we scored three goals against a team that maybe he was not able with one player less to attack too much, but uh, they defend very well. It's the draw tonight. A lot of managers in the Premier League have made a lot of changes, but for you, is a, winning a cup, you won this cup, is this a big trophy for you? I think that always when you can win a trophy for a club, it's a big trophy. Especially here in England, when if you win this cup or the FA Cup, you win that cup in Wembley with 100,000 people uh, climbing, uh, applauding your, your team. So always it will be important to win a, a title. And finally, Wolves, are newly promoted, but spent a lot of money. Does this just show how tough the Premier League is now? There is no favourite for relegation. Everybody is spent. Yes, of course, because every team has money to bring good players. When you asked me about the first question about that, I told you, you, know, you must understand that every game is very difficult because every team has very good players and every team has money to continue bringing good players. And that's why it's the most equalised league on the world and, and the best one. Thank you. Hi, man. <coughs> uh, you created plenty of good chances against Arsenal. Some would argue that you were much the better team for a lot of the game. Um, is it disappointing you that some of those chances aren't being converted into goals? I am disappointed and not to win that game. Huh? I always said when uh, you as a team, you must understand that you you are attacking. Uh, it corresponds for the ten players and defend also the same thing for the eleven or the ten or the ten players on the field. So in that game, uh, I was disappointed first not not to win. Uh, maybe Arsenal didn't create so many chances to score three goals, except when they scored the second goal that we had some minutes that we didn't play well. But the rest of the game, I think that they didn't create chances. So maybe our defence didn't play so bad to concede three goals. But we did it. We conceded three goals. So we must understand that uh, defending all the team, we must improve because if they didn't create too many chances at the score, they scored three goals, something we are not doing well. And in the opposite side, exactly the same. If we create so many chances and we didn't score, something we must improve. So I think that in the general way of, uh, of analysing my team, we need to improve uh, in all, in attacking and defending. But I think so after we finish that game that we are in the correct way. How close is the team playing <coughs> to the way you want them to play? Close if we see the, the, the game against Arsenal, if we uh, score three goals and we concede just one, maybe it's the moment that we need to, to have this team. I hope that in the future will, that will happen. Um, <coughs> with uh, Wolves, uh, were you aware of what Nuno Espirito Santo was doing there last season when you weren't in England? Yes, yes, of course. I, when I was out here, when I was in China, I was always seeing what happened here in the Premier League. I think that Nuno Espirito Santo had made a very good work in Wolverhampton. He made a successful season, not only because he was promoted to the Premier League, because he, the amount of points that he had in the, in the Championship, that's always so difficult competition. And after that, I saw this week the three games that they played before us, and it's a team that they believe in what they do and they continue doing exactly the same way they did last season. Are you impressed with the way that they took on Man City, considering some teams you know, may, might sit back and they actually really had a go at them? The results in football, they have so many different things that, that why they happen, that maybe two or three balls uh, decide the score. 
If you ask me, maybe City, Manchester City deserved to win that game. But I saw the game against Leicester and Wolverhampton had two options in the first five minutes that I'm believing that they didn't score. I mean, you start that game 2 0, maybe they can beat Leicester and they lost again again Leicester. So just I, I was talking against our team against the game against Arsenal. When you have those chances, you must score. So there's a lot of things why the results are not, uh, are not uh, exactly what you said during a game. But I think that's a team that can play against City or against every team of the Premier League in the way they are doing the three games and they are doing very well. And, and with the international break coming, does that increase the pressure to get a, a win before, you know, so that you don't have that gap when everyone goes away without having won? No, for me, the pressure is exactly the same. If we start the season winning the three games, the next game I will have exactly the same pressure because the pressure that I make myself to have points. Uh, of course, if you add that you don't have points, maybe the pressure of the of the media, of the atmosphere, can be bigger. But for me, the pressure is always the same. Can I ask about Cresswell and um, <coughs> the likes of uh, Diop and the players who played well on Tuesday? How much of a headache is that giving you about who to play on, on Saturday? Well, I spoke with the player before we played the cup game. That, uh, I need to analyze all the performance of all of them, the Premier League and the Cup, in the, in the in the training here every day. Unfortunately, for Creswell, he has a long injury in the pre-season. He just played 45 minutes in the last game of the of the pre-season. But uh, after that, if we see the game that he played on on Tuesday, he did it very well. He was a good player. But Arthur also is doing very well. So that's important to have a, a good squad. And me as a manager can choose the player that in this moment deserve to play. Uh, you've already mentioned Mark Warnowski. Is there any other injury concerns going into Saturday's game? No, but there are small things that Marco, he's so strong, he's, the, has, he's challenged every ball as the last one. So maybe he has some kicks or some different things that may affect him. But he's a strong man and he wants to recover as soon as he can and he did. Apart from the other three long-term injuries, are there any other concerns with other players? No, no. For the moment, I think the, the players that have had some history with their injuries, as Jack, he didn't have any problem in all the... Uh, not only that he played all the games, uh, he works all the, uh, every session, uh, session here with us. Uh, same thing with Antonio, so for the moment, we don't have any problem in that sense. Wolves played their normal style against Man City when our teams may be a bit more defensive. How concerning is it to you to be coming up against a team that has no fear? No, I don't agree that they must play because they play against Man City, they must play with more defending. I think that the team must play in the way they work every day. And Wolverhampton uh, seems that they play against any team in the same way. That's the merit of, the, of his manager. And since Nuno's approach at the start of last season, Wolves haven't lost when they've taken the lead. How important would it be to get the first goal on Saturday? No, the important is that our team play well, to try to not concede goal, to try to score as much goals as we can. And all the statistics, I never take too much importance of those things. And normally this would be the end of the transfer window right now. Managers would be busy trying to improve their squads. Are you glad that it was all that way before the season began? Or do you look at your team now and think, I wish I could make some more uh, purchases? No, no, I think that we have the squad that I wanted for this season. Uh, uh, there's a lot of players that uh, can be also another option, but you must choose in that moment one of them. And I think that we have the correct squad and I continue believing. And all the players, as I just uh, answered about Yaya Touré, that I, I always want Yaya in my team. But in this moment, we have the squad that we need, the squad that I believe. So if the, the window was open to bring another player, I don't need. The game against Bournemouth was your first at London Stadium. How much have you learned from that in terms of when the performance seems so great fans turn against the team? How much have you learned from what you told your players going into this next game? Well, I don't need to play one game here to learn more about what I know about this uh, this team and about this club. So I hope that in the second 
uh, game we are going to play well as we did part of the game against Bournemouth. The, we can do it now 90 minutes and I'm absolutely sure that all of us together we are going to have our first victory. Thank you. Camera's off. Thank you.